Life can change in an instant. For many wheelchair users, the struggle to push forward is a daily challenge. After years of development and countless prototypes, we created Rib Grips, the revolutionary wheelchair hand rim covers with built-in ribs for ultimate grip and comfort. No more slick surfaces, no more heat burns, just pure, reliable grip. Rib Grips, empowering you to push forward with ease. Rib Grips, get a grip on your freedom. Discover the difference. Visit ribgrips.com and use promo code GRIP today. You just found the perfect product that helps with staying cool during hot summer runs. No more gross warm water. Stay cool with this product from Gear Handle. This hydration tube cover helps keep your water cool and easily accessible. Stay hydrated during those long summer runs or even delay from freezing in the winter. Plus, they're compatible with various brands of water bladders and come in various colors. Visit GearHandle.com and use promo code H2O today. Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Andrew G, and welcome to another episode of The Public Affair. I'm really happy to be recording this episode. I've been excited about it all week. And um, before we get started, I definitely want to use this opportunity, as always, to thank you guys again for all your love and support of The Public Affair. I want to thank you guys for just a little year's time, over a little year. A little over a year's time, we've reached over 1,000 subscribers of The Public Affair, and I'm very, very excited about that, and I wake up all blissful and happy every single day. And of course, thank you to Mike Hamilton at Rogue Media Network for all the hard work he puts in behind the scenes. I sure do appreciate it. Um, before we get started with this really, really great episode, I definitely want to give a shout out to some of our sponsors of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to you by Frank Biza with B&J Refinishing. He focuses on resurfacing bathtubs, counters, sinks, tiles, and more to original showroom quality, offers five-year warranty on most work, and has the best prices in town. And Frank doesn't stop there, as I always say in every other episode, he is a jack of all trades because he also has Cotown Tint, which is a mobile tint and detailing business that offers the best high quality film and products and will be all competitor prices. Frank Biza does like every single thing in the world. So if you ask him if he does and if you need a particular service done, Frank basically does it. He's such a hustler and I'm very, very grateful to have him as a sponsor of The Public Affair. Thank you for bringing us this episode, Frank. Of course, to Foyo Box and Audio, my boy Jeffrey Monreal, he focuses on installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and much more. He's definitely Definitely a jack of all trades as well. Jeffrey has built me like a whole brand new spicy car from the ground up, and I absolutely love it. it saved me tons of money because I was going to go buy another car, but he gave me all the cool features that I didn't think I can have. And Jeffrey is the goat. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the Public Affair. To David Santabana, the number one sales agent in his office, to help you buy a home or sell your home, make sure you follow him on Facebook at David with Alinea. Call the number on the screen, darling. There's a reason why he's the number one realtor at Alinea Real Estate because he is so patient, he's so punctual, he's catering to all my needs when it comes to finding my dream chateau and I cannot wait to finally get it. David has been working really hard behind the scenes to make sure I get my dream, dream home. So thank you, thank you so much, not only for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair, but for helping me find my home, and I can't wait to finally close on that deal. And in that home, I'm gonna have a really sexy lit shower, all thanks to Joe Olvera with Four Brothers Construction. He provides custom home designs and renovations, and they also focus on roofing, remodeling, renovations, plumbing, tree removal, electrical work, and so much more. Joe is definitely a GOAT. He's got a really great team behind him to make sure all all these services are catered to all your needs. Joe, thank you so much for being such a longtime supporter of the public affair and for sponsoring this episode. Of course, to Midway Nutrition with my boy Marcos Cordero. He's located on Hewitt Drive. He sells meal replacement shakes with tons of different flavors. And as I said in over 60, I uh, heard that right, over 60 episodes of the public affair. My favorite is the Honey Nut Cheerios because it always is. I love going to a nice workout in the morning and then getting me a protein shake to start the day. It's definitely a healthier meal replacement. And if you guys are not located in the Hewitt area, you can also go to Waco Nutrition and Energy located on Spate. Marcos Coscoletto, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Elite Barbershop with my boy Sid Rodriguez, who makes me look all sweet and sexy every single episode of The Public Affair. <laughs> Elite Barbershop is located on Hewitt Drive. You can download the Cut app or call the number on the screen to book your next hair appointment. He also has Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova, and D-Rod, a.k.a. David Rodriguez over there making you look like a whole snack. So if you guys need your next haircut, of course, you're going to go to Elite Barbershop with Sid Rodriguez located on Hewitt Drive. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the free Fit Athletics with my boy Trevor Owen. He's an apparel business with the best workout, exercise, and athletic clothing and gear with the best quality and comfort guaranteed. I love my new Free Fit Athletic shirt. I just want to wear it every single day, but that would be gross. So I'm not going to do that because of body odor. But Trevor Owen, I'm telling you guys, when he tells you it's the best quality guaranteed and comfort, I'm not lying. It's really comfortable, especially to wear around the house with like nothing. Anyway, okay, so make sure you check out freefitathletics.com or call the number on the screen for more information. And of course, I can't go on with thanking my girl, Kaylin Flores with Elevate 
in Waco. Waco's newest premier shop selling nothing but the best. Elevate is proud to bring you all of a one of a kind attire and most exotic merchandise on the market. They also guarantee all gas and no breaks. Make sure you follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Elevate Waco for their new location coming soon. And I just love me some barbecue flavored Doritos. Caitlin, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. More to come later. <laughs> All right, guys, so as I was saying. I'm a lot of <laughs> No, that's never happened before. Anyway. <laughs> All right, guys, as I said before, I'm really excited to um, be recording this episode of The Public Affair. I know that a lot of people really get excited when I have a couple. Um, I've been kind of wanting to invite this couple for a long time on the show. And I didn't think they were going to be down, but we had the Back to School Bash, the 2021 Back to School Bash, hosted by uh, David Santabanez and Sid Rodriguez. And we got a little opportunity to talk about it amongst the chaos that we were dealing with but it was great it was a great event yeah. but I asked them would you guys come on the show they said absolutely I'm really happy that Julian and Anna Banda from Banda's Howling Service are here on the public affair how are you guys yeah. 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 thanks for having us yeah, of course I saw you guys staring at each other when I was doing my ads okay? I, was like, oh, I, I didn't drink enough water this morning so I was a little parched okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise I'm not sick but you know normally I can just machine gun them through yeah. and then that's today, a lot to say it, it is a lot to say but you know I've been in radio for six years too so you know try cutting a commercial when you're drunk Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't talk anyway uh, how are you guys doing today? Thank you for being here. You guys doing all right? Yeah, oh, we're doing good. good. It is good. Sunday afternoon. I can't wait to get some brunch oh, after this. Yeah. So we decided we were going to do this really early so that way we can get the day over with and yeah. continue the rest of our weekend. So I really oh, appreciate yeah. you guys being here. Oh, yeah. um, I have to say that I have been following you guys on social media for quite a while. You and I have known each other for quite a few years. Yeah. Kind of just behind, not like personally, or not, don't worry. <laughs> and, then, uh, and, then, um, and then, you know, I've been seeing like you and your, your journey with Banda's hauling service. And I remember talking to Sid about it in the very beginning. I said our bar, uh, we have the same barber, right? Yeah. Said, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I haven't got in in there. In no, there yeah, I can tell. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I have. I didn't yeah. do. Uh, so I'm doing jealous today. I'm trying to go all natural just, oh. just for today. Okay. Yeah. Because normally I like gel my hair. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Sid, we share the same barber. So I was talking. I was like, I wonder if they do it. I just didn't think you guys would do it. So I'm really happy that you guys did yeah. it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, before we get started, uh, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about yourself individually? <laughs> Julian, why don't we start with you? Like, okay. tell us who you are, where you're from, and all that. Uh, my name's Julian. Uh, Born and raised here in Waco. Uh, went to University High School oh. in Udall. South Waco. Oh, you yeah. dogs. Yeah, you dogs. <laughs> How come all of my guests went to university? Like, I don't Not me. Not okay. me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she said, don't, don't yeah. associate me with that. <laughs> but, yeah, I do. Own, we do own, operate uh, Bandits Hall and Service. Okay. You know, we pick up trash. Yeah. Tree brush. Okay. Park cars. Uh, rent out dump trailers also. Right. Are you related to my sponsor, um... Junior Banda? No. Fat Boy Michelin and Badanas, you're not? Oh, okay. No. Well, it's a small town. Yeah. You know, you have the same yeah. last name. You're more than likely yeah. cousins. Like, you're, maybe yeah. you are, and you just don't know. Okay. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But, uh, but my, my family, they're from Chicago. They came oh. over when they were... My dad came over and he was little. Okay, got you. So we're all, all, all our bandas are from South Waco. Oh, okay, got you. So you're yeah. from Texas. Yeah. Okay, yeah, got yeah. you. All right, cool. And what about you, Anna? Over there looking like a snag. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anna. Um, I was born in Mexico, okay. Coahuila, Mexico. Oh. Um, Raised in big old town of Bruce Willetti. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But I've been living in Waco like. Yeah. 15 years oh really yeah. okay but no but Bristol Eddie Waco that's kind of like the same thing like yeah. it's just like the outskirts it's like over yeah. there in the woods you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah, okay. there's nothing there no yeah so you grew up in Bruce Eddie so yeah. your school was probably like five kids and at the time no six no, no. Six? <laughs> <laughs> no it was like 80 something are we the same age you and I how old are you I'm about to be 32 uh, why uh, you yeah. think about it okay, I'm no, like 30. okay we are close so how about you and I I'm like 30. What am I? 30? Why are you guys forgetting your age? Oh my God. Oh, I'm, scared. I'm only 30. Stop this. I'm, <laughs> I'm scared that yeah. in a few years I'm going to forget how old I am. Yeah. But, um, I yeah. You past your 20s. Well, do you know what? I find it very scary that I have to rely on Siri for a lot of things now. Like, as far as reminding me, for, like, it's little as shit, too. Yeah. Like, remind me in a few hours that I have to text this person. <laughs> yeah. Or, oh, you know what I've been doing? Remind me at such and such time to announce my next guest. And that's scaring me because I should always remember that. And yeah. I, yeah. There's yeah. been a time or two where I forgot. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah. Uh, can we talk a little bit about how you, so you guys are married or together? Are, are we married? Or? Uh, we're married. Yeah, we're married. married. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's like, anniversary's yeah. coming up. Oh, okay. Yeah. How many years? Uh, five years. Five years. Five years. Yeah. Okay, what's yeah. up? Yeah. Well, congratulations to you guys. I don't like that you guys have to think about all these things. Okay? I know. <laughs> yeah. okay. It looks a little bad. Can we talk bad. a little bit about how you guys met? Um, just like behind the scenes? Yeah, I'll tell the story millions of times. Okay. And, uh, Does she have a different version of events? Is that what's going on Maybe. here? No. Uh, okay, no. well, let's see. Uh, Go ahead. Well, uh, me and Sid, okay. uh, when we just barely graduated high school, we went to a party. Okay. Uh, a, a friend of mine, you know, invited us, hey, we're having a party. Well, he knows them too. 
Oh, Who? yeah. Ray. Oh, Ray, Ray Sierra. Sierra. Yeah. yeah. Love Ray. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, we went over there, and then I seen her. Okay. We started talking. I was working at a car, uh, car dealership yeah. at that time, and she was asking me about you know, painting their car, okay. you know, how much it would cost. You can paint cars? No, I can't. Uh, I was going to no, say, that's okay. because no. my car is on the struggle bus yeah. right now. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I may know somebody who can yeah. help. No, because all the interior looks great thanks to Boyle Box and Audio. Like, it's beautiful yeah. inside. It's like a pit my ride, but the outside is looking like the, Somebody was like, Andrew, you're with the public affair. You can't be driving that car, bro. Like, yeah. and, you're on part, yeah. and you're like, you're kind of getting into being a public figure and look what you're driving. Like, yeah. Mind yeah. your business. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to get there. It's gonna anyway, get anyway there. sorry. I didn't mean to yeah. interrupt you, Junior. No, you good. Junior. Oh, my God. Julian. Uh, sorry. I was thinking of Bunda. Go ahead. No, but yeah, we we started talking of course she was right. with somebody else at that time right um and uh she told me what she worked <laughs> at and i'm like okay well she, you know she used to work at hbs the old hbs on, okay. on valley mill so yeah. every chance i got i tried you know go over there just you was, okay, okay trying to go yeah. over there for some milk and shit yeah <laughs> hey, when I, hey, he, he waited through the long line just to yeah, get like a snicker like, oh so you were yeah. so you were checking people out and yeah. he like yeah. there would be like the, the fast lane and shit and then there'd be the long ass line and yeah like, i'm gonna try and get work oh uh, yeah i'll <laughs> just go cute. through there just yeah to talk, just to talk to her okay you know? hey how you doing what, right you know, right right stuff like that you know I've done so that before too, and I almost slept with the guy, but oh, but he was kind of he was kind of gross. I was like, mm, yeah. never mind. No, this, <laughs> took, this took years to do that. Oh so. shit! No, yeah, it only took me yeah. a couple months. But you know, just real quick sidebar. Um, I really wanted to do it really bad, and then I was drunk at the club one time, and then he finally hit me up, and I was like, yes. And then I and then he sent me a picture. I was like, uh, 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 that's what we're doing. Because uh, <laughs> at the mind. nightclub, they look different. They do, right? After you, yeah. And so um, I was like, just stick to checking out my groceries. But anyway, uh, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, but other than yeah. that. I, and then, uh, yeah, uh, stop well, we going. met when we were okay. 18, though. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a long time ago. Yeah. She's like, uh, why are you cutting out that part yeah. of the story? Like, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a long time ago. Okay, so, you, so you guys met, but you were with uh, an, you were with your baby's father at the time. Is yeah. that correct? Okay, cool. Yeah. And so you guys were kind of talking, or no, no. Yeah. no. Well, so it I, was it was me and, and my friend Anna. We had an apartment together. Shout out to Anna. Yes. Yes. We, okay. We had we would have little hangout parties. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and. And Anna's a whole nurse now. Shout out to her. I yeah. know. Yeah, I her. Know. Yeah, because she's she's still with Ray, right? They have two kids yeah. and everything. Yeah, I haven't seen. I saw them by fluke one time, just like at, well, I was shopping for my new job, and um, in Round Rock, and I saw them. I ran into them. Uh, really? and yeah, she looks really great. So yeah. shout out to both of them. I hope you guys are doing well. But anyway, right. yeah. yeah. Okay. So you guys, so you guys met. Yeah, because I I think I've met your baby's daddy before. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, huh, because they're they're brothers, right? And yeah. so yeah, so um, I met him, and then um, anyway, I don't know the details of what happened. We don't have to share, but anyway. <laughs> so your version of events on how you guys met is pretty much the same. Yeah. yeah. Now, would you say that he was kind of side piece ish, or were you just trying to get out of that relationship? And no, like uh, okay. we, I was just cool with him and like okay. Sid and like like y'all we were just, just all friends. friends. Yeah. yeah, I got you. Yeah. And then we lost touch. Like, yeah, we, we, lo- stopped, we stopped we talking. Going. Oh, okay. And then, and then I, years I don't know, later. one day... Was one that because day you had a baby? Yeah, I, I already had Rosie. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Well, I know. One day... And then I split, and then... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no one, one day, one one night, I think I was at my brother's house, and yeah. uh, she actually hit me up. Okay. And I'm like... I was like, oh dang! So I was start looking through her, you know. Don't you love that profile? Yeah, yeah, yeah I love. So, I love when they finally hit yeah. you up. Like, oh, yes, I'm in. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, I look and yeah. I'm like, oh, you know, because I haven't talked to her like years, you know. Uh-huh. So, and I look and I started looking through her profile. Yeah, you know, to see that she had, you know, Rosie. She was still snackish though, like. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes yeah. they get moms like, anyway. Go ahead. No. <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah. So okay. I'm, I'm looking and I said, okay, well, she probably still with with the guy. Know, okay. With the guy, right? Yeah. And I. I don't know. Conversation was like, well, how, how's life treating you? I was like, yeah. I'm living a single life, you know, okay. drink, doing oh. good, right? And she was like, oh, yeah, I had me to let too. Him know. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, me too. So I'm okay. like, oh, okay. Well, yeah. you know, from there, is, that's all she wrote. Did you ask her out or? Yeah, we started hanging out. Okay, okay. gotcha. Yeah. No, so, you know what? When, when you saw, okay, so you guys were talking before you had your daughter, right? And then well, um, we met. We you were, had met. We before. were like yeah. talking. No, you guys were talking. Yeah, let me let me clarify <laughs> yeah, before yeah, everybody yeah, thinks yeah. she's a big old slut. <laughs> <laughs> I, if there's anybody that's a slut in this room, it's me. Yeah. And I feel like I have the right yeah. to be a slut. Damn it, because I'm single. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, so, yeah. and so yeah, say sex. And so because um, <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to get pregnant. So um, so that's real thing. You yeah, might. it is. Yeah. Okay, shit these days. <laughs> and so, like, uh, so you you met her, but you guys weren't talking at the time, and you did not have your daughter at the time. So right. when you when you when you finally like rekindled with her, and she messaged you or whatever, did you kind of get discouraged when you saw that she had a baby and you, oh, you, no, you no, were like oh no. my shots are my chances are shot or no oh, oh, okay no, uh-uh. <laughs> so, 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 so and then you just to clarify you hit him up correct 
But it wasn't like, hey, let's hang out. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, did nah. you hey. yeah, yeah, of course. That's how it starts. Okay, we're not idiots. <laughs> she was like, well, hey, how you doing? Yeah. You know, so that, that's how it uh, you Okay, know, I got you. Yeah. Started. You, you know what? So um, just walking into her daughter's life, because you, you, you guys have your daughter, and then you guys have a kid together. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. So you don't have uh, outside children. Is that correct? No. Okay. So uh, at least we don't know. And uh, so, okay. Uh, <laughs> she's like, let me find out. No, because that happens sometimes, right? Like, I know. 10 years later, it's like, oh, should I have a daughter? And so um, do you think that you faced any challenges um, kind of stepping into that package deal, so to speak, because she had a daughter. So you're like, oh shit, it's not just about Anna anymore. Now she has a whole kid. So now I have to be a dad. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, what was yeah. that like for you? Man, it's it's a it was an experience. You okay. Know? So stepping in to you know her her name's Rosie. Yeah, yeah. Rosie. Rosie's life. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, when she was two. You know, mm-hmm. now she's ten. So oh wow, God, it, I, feel a, old. I know it's a it, it was a learning <laughs> experience, yeah. but it was. Is worth it, you know. Okay, got now, you. Now if it, she's mine, you know. Yeah, you know. But it was but, hard yeah. for me because I was protective. I'm like, no, yeah. Yeah, she was mm-hmm. like, man, I, I don't want you to meet her. How long yeah. did it take that? you to, to? Like half a year. Oh, really? Okay, because mm-hmm. you know some girls they don't yeah. care anymore these days. It's mom's new friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is Uncle So and So. Yeah. 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 But, so, I didn't want her to meet him, and and then. We're not like. Oh, you guys uh, weren't serious. Yeah. Okay. Cause we weren't at first. We no, were just like it, hanging out like just, friends, yeah, no. and then yeah, going out dinner. You know. Yeah, yeah. Just side piece on the there. side, just yeah. <laughs> for fun, right? No, yeah. I can't. I long for those days. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, you know, I can't yeah. wait to be the ultimate side piece. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. but no, I, I get you. So okay, so it took you about six months for him to actually, and so I mean, just stepping into the because I always think, what would it be like if I was with somebody that had kids? I know. Because I don't want to be raising no damn kids if I don't have my own. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's just me. And I, I get that everybody's different, and these days it's so common for families to be blended and stuff. Yeah. And you, let's, we're relatively the same age, and so I remember Rosie when she was two. And mm-hmm. I can't believe she's 10 now. It's crazy. Yeah. And so, um, uh, I mean, I don't know your daughter like that. Let me just clarify. But <laughs> I, I've seen her. Yeah. And so, um, you know, being as young as we were, I mean, were you, like, nervous? Like, did you your family kind of judge you for that or anything? Or? Uh, well, my my dad was kind of right. the the biggest one, mm-hmm. you know. Oh, she's got a kid, like, right? Hey, it doesn't matter. It is what you it know? is. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, but yeah, but other than that, I mean, I've uh, I've grown to. Uh, Who's texting him? Uh, it, <laughs> I told uh, you what happened. Cli- <laughs> cli- yeah. no, it's, a, it's a client. No, I gotta go move the car. Uh, okay, uh, give, give us a second. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, but no, yeah, my dad was the biggest. You know. Okay. He wasn't supportive. Like he was a little bit on the fence. Yeah. Okay, got gotcha. you. Because he's always the type of, hey, you need to find, you know, a girl that doesn't have kids. Right, right. You know? Okay. Well, hey, sometimes you can't find that now. now nowadays so, you yeah, can. You can. Yeah, so, yeah, even yeah. the gays got kids. I'm like, how the fuck did you have kids? Like, yeah. like did you adopt? No, no, I used to have sex with girls. Yeah. <laughs> like, but pregnant? Like, no. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so did you, do, you, do you think that you faced a lot of scrutiny from your family, like introducing your daughter to a whole other guy outside of her father? or? Yeah, a little okay. bit because, um, you know, they were like, oh, well, this is her dad. Right. Like, you need to try to make that work. And I'm like, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can't help somebody yeah. that doesn't want to be helped. And I, you know what? Uh, sh- <clears throat> shout out to the baby daddy because I actually, we were friends. I haven't talked to him. Not because we're not, we don't have beef, but I just. Yeah. I was friends with Ray. I was friends with Ray back yeah. in the day, and we were all young, oh, and yeah. you know what I mean. We young and stupid. Yeah, we were stupid. Yeah, yeah. I used to. I used to think Ray was a snack, and now, was, <laughs> now he's a dad of two. And I'm like, yeah. stay over there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but no, I love Ray, and I, you know, I, um, me and the brother got along really well too. I just, I don't know where he's been or anything. But anyway, that's yeah. besides the point. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, um, <laughs> so I'm really happy to hear that you guys were able to kind of, I guess, just bend that. And you know, yeah. I always, I always just wondered like what yeah. it was like stepping into a relationship with. Somebody else's kid, but now you guys have your own son too, right? Yeah. Any more plans for any other kids in the future? No. No. Uh, yeah. So you, no. But you, but you got your boy, you got your girl, and then you yeah. got a boy and a girl, and yeah. you got a boy yeah. and a girl. Yeah. So yeah. y'all are good. All right, yeah. Perfect. Two is enough. Two is enough. Yeah. I got you. After JJ come out, I'm like, nope. That's it. No more. So you no, just, he was wanting to like wait and see, like, oh, maybe another one. Right, right. And then JJ comes out and he's like, never mind, fuck that's that. It. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so do you nah. think your mind will change in the future, or like, are you really content? No, I'm done. Okay. I told her. It was no, I'm not saying. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying that. No. No. I tried. I tried. Yeah. It. It's yeah. fun apparently when you do that. But anyway. Uh, but no, yeah. Uh, what was I trying to say? <laughs> I'm sorry, I cut yeah, you off with yeah, the scissors. Yeah. <laughs> you might uh, scissors, but you're not snip. Yeah. No, you were talking about how um, you had the son, <clears throat> and then um, now you don't want any more kids. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I had told her if I if I'm like over 28. Yeah. At the time, mm-hmm. I'm not having no kids. So, okay. And then. 
It just so Jay happens Jizzle. that I'm pregnant at 28. Yeah, okay. Or yeah, when he's 28. He was like, we got to make this work real quick. Because <laughs> time's yeah, ticking. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. So I'm like, no. I, but yeah, JJ came out and that was it. Oh, so, okay. Well, that's yeah. good. And you guys have a beautiful family. Let me just say oh, that. Thank so, you. Yes, thank of course. You. And you guys are yeah. great. I'm so happy you're here. All right. So <laughs> I want to talk to you guys a little about about your careers. Okay. So first okay. of all, let's jump right into Bandas Hauling Service. So you recently just quit your job to make Bandas full time, yeah, correct? I did. What were you doing before that? I was a, a, a manager at a pawn shop. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can say their name, but you can it, if you want it to. It was a Cash America. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've been, but if they're gonna allegedly, everything is alleged. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, I got threatened with a lawsuit. Which I'm yeah. not trying to risk that. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. so see, oh, <laughs> so uh, see, it actually got me on that job. Yeah, when okay. I left uh, Toyota. That's okay, I, the dealership I used to work at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he actually got me on there, uh, mm-hmm. and I've been there for like six years. Okay, so after. You know, we started this, mm-hmm. you know, I was working crazy hours going over there. Right. Then doing the my business. Yeah, you're tired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and she, was, she gave me a timeline, six months to a year. Uh-huh. And we'll see how it goes. And that six months came you're around. You're talking about how Bondas goes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So mm-hmm. six months came around and, and it was time to quit. You yeah. Know? I love the pawn shop. No, for sure. Yeah, man, Mm -hmm. I love working there. Love the customers. Right. Who I worked with, who I worked for. Right. Man, it's just it was just time to move on. Yeah. Can you tell us what Banda's hauling service is? Because when I when I saw what it was for the first time, I was like, people do that. Like, I didn't (laughs) didn't know that was a thing. You know what I mean? Tell us, tell us who for who doesn't know what your services offer. Like, what you what you do. So our service offers like say the you somebody cuts down some tree limbs. Okay. Okay, and they're waiting on the city to come and get it. Right. Sometimes the city don't want to come and get it, or mm-hmm. they don't do that service anymore for that location. Mm-hmm. They can call us. We'll go out there, pick it up, right. and we'll uh, drop it off. We'll take it to the landfill. Oh, okay. Is we'll, it just tree limbs, though? Like, no, it's, uh, it's trash. If you got trash, you know, you're ugh. cleaning out a garage yeah. or a shed or, or anything like that. Okay. We can either leave the trailer there for you, right? dump the trash in there or whatever you have in there. Okay. Uh, and then we come back and pick it up and take it to the wow. So what made you want to do something like that? Man, <laughs> like hauling trash. It's, <laughs> it's just I like to be outside. Oh, you really? Know, I like to work. Uh, not me. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's, go, <laughs> going to a building every day, man, yeah. it's, it's, it gets old. Okay. You know, and I was there for six, six and a half years. So right, right. It, it got old, you know. And then once we started this, you know, it was, yeah, uh-huh. I think I can do it. Because I always had, you know, wanted to do businesses, you know. Right. I, I've always had these Hey, I can do this. And then she she's the brain. So okay. she's like, well, you need to figure out what you need, how right. much it's going to cost, you know, and all so this. So you're more into, like, wanting to just jump right into it. And she's like, well, this yeah. is what really happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit more realistic. Yeah. Yeah. What was your idea, like, when he told you he wanted to start buying this hauling service? I mean, I was, I was <laughs> well, okay, see, so he started it with you wanted to do the tire yeah, shop. He okay. wanted a tire shop. And I'm like, okay, like, well, let's, you know, figure out a plan. Right. And then someone asked you, I think, to tow a car. Yeah, I think it was a. Uh, <laughs> oh, so then he became a towing service. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. then someone asked you to pick up some stuff. Yeah. And then, yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, like, if you like doing it, okay. okay. I'm like, but we got to figure out a plan. Right, like, right. what do we need? What's the cost? And you know, it's always these little just like <laughs> side things that people make into businesses that I would just never dream of. Because, you know, I'm yeah. not, nah, I don't want to be outside. <laughs> 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 like, even if I move again, I'm hiring movers because fuck that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I, I guess your decision to, I guess, haul trash or trees, I, people really do need those, especially when mm-hmm. there's like older people, you know yeah. what I yeah. mean, that yeah. really can't do it themselves. And I always think, can a business like that last? What were your yeah. thoughts about that? In the beginning you know it, it was my thoughts were you know all right well i do it okay you know or uh man i'll just keep doing a going to a building every day <laughs> yeah. you yeah. know but doing this is like I'm, i get to go here okay to, you know be out you know yeah for places. sure what was what was your like i guess wake up call like the inspiration like what what made you wake up and say i'm gonna quit my job and i'm gonna make this full time well, and what is that decision like because surely that's a scary especially for you you're mm-hmm. like Bitch, i went to college like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah. so what is that like for you and then i also want to get your perspective as well yeah, i've always <laughs> always had had it in me that uh-huh. i want to start a business okay you know so it's always been there i've even talked to sid whenever he first started cutting hair yeah a, a long time ago, and, and we're we're like making a well, okay. You have a barbershop, right? And then in that same building, I can have like I started with car audio, hooking right. up car audio. Oh, so okay. we started doing that, yeah. 
right? Or I was doing that on the side when I, you know, then finished oil school. Changes. Yeah, I was thinking. <laughs> Shit, people yeah, need. Mobile, I don't yeah. want to change no damn oil. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. Just thinking about doing mobile oil changes. Yeah. and I worked in cars, the working on cars at the house. Yeah, uh, I'd have two cars, three cars at the house. Right, you know, right. That I would work on. But this right here was just, you know, I think I think this can this, this could last. Yeah, yeah, this okay. this could. How, and what about your perspective? Like when he woke up one day and said, "Okay, I'm about to quit the pawn shop that was job security that you know I, I have <laughs> you know I have scary. a position here." Yeah. So yeah. What, what were your thoughts going in? It just honestly. I mean, well, we had talked about it before. Like when okay. he started this, like he's like, you know, I'm gonna want to you know do it full time, and I'm like, well, let's wait. Like yeah. hold on, like let's wait six months to a year and see how it goes. Okay. And then it was getting closer, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> but I was nervous because. He was getting a salary okay. pay, you know, and and it was I'm sure after six years it was like good revenue. Yeah, and, yeah. and I'm like, we know exactly how much we have for bills, how right. much we have to, you know, spend on kids, how much uh -huh. for fun, and this I'm like, oh, like <laughs> it could be a really good month or it could yeah. be a really bad yeah. month, yeah. so we won't know. But you just we just had to take the leap of faith. Okay, but. now would you say the leap of faith was leap of faith? <laughs> was beneficial going forward or because how long has it been since you've been full-time uh three only, weeks three weeks yeah. oh has it only been three yeah, weeks yeah because <laughs> yeah, yeah. i gave my last boss i told him i said well i when we told him i i had already told him six months to a year okay. so that six months came up and i told him hey six months is up yeah you yeah. know so remember when i told you that he goes he goes yeah i seen it coming okay you know so i said but i'll give you so August August first okay. is when the day we're we're starting full time. Okay, you know? got so you. Yeah. We gave him a day. So then you just left. Yeah. You know what? Because honestly, like juggling, I guess your side hustle plus the job, and then you have a family to raise. I mean, were there any adversities that you guys had? Because even just me, I'm single, right? Yeah. And up until recently, <laughs> I, was, yeah, I was juggling three fucking things, and I'm like, damn it, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I don't have time yeah. for anything. And especially with you guys having kids and being in a relationship and being committed, like, how did you guys find time to just juggle personal time? and stuff oh just you know whenever i don't schedule so something mm -hmm. or, or like I, and i understood like what was trying to happen you okay. know and so and and even the kids knew right and we were yeah. just you just decided. going along with it yeah like, i got you yeah, we try not to make it a big deal but yeah the kids will be like oh we haven't like spent a lot of time together right right like, oh we will so were you working seven days a week at the time pretty much yeah oh. it, somebody <laughs> calls me hey you know, they wanted me to go out to Dallas to go right. pick up their car. You know, sometimes I won't get home to about three, four o'clock in the morning. You know, know. and they could be at, leave the house around eleven. Okay. You know, do you have any regrets yeah. doing things like that, like making those types of late night commitments and stuff? No. Or do you think that was all part of the process? Uh, I think it's I part, think of, the part of the process. Yeah, because. Yeah. You know. a, lot, a lot of people don't realize the sacrifices that you have to make in order yeah. to like achieve like what you really want to do and stuff like yeah. that. Everything, just wants everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, my producer was talking about before this. But anyway, <laughs> we're not gonna get into that topic. But, you know, um, I'm gonna. So, have you had to, I guess, face any negative like reviews or anything so far going into this? I mean, how do you handle that? How do you not let it discourage you from moving forward? Well, really, I haven't. I don't think we, we, have. I don't think we oh, had okay. that. Okay. Yeah, not okay, yeah, yeah, though, it's, but, it's yeah. coming. All right, uh, <laughs> those yeah. Google reviews are a killer. Yeah. But. I know, but we'll probably but. just delete those. You know, <laughs> on Facebook if we do. I always yeah. leave the negative comments on my up until like recently. <laughs> <laughs> I always leave the negative comments. I always felt like everybody had like a freedom to say what they yeah. wanted. Do you yeah. remember? Sometimes I was like, how the hell are you just going to sit there and like spend your whole day typing this big ass paragraph yeah. of bullshit and how you yeah. hate me? And it's like, yeah. move on. Yeah. Bitch. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so going into a little bit, of your career, you're a teacher in town. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, you made the decision to, and I didn't go to college. Did you go to college? I didn't go. I, go I didn't, to be honest, I didn't even graduate high school. Oh, really? Yeah. But look at him now. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we're yeah, talking yeah, so, about that. Okay, wait, wait, why yeah. not? <laughs> uh, uh, that, that one test, uh, the science test. The, oh, the, when it was the tax, tax test? test? Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, I was close every single time, but <laughs> and a after that, I'm like, you know You just kind of gave up on it? Yeah, I'm like, Do you no. know what? I almost, I failed my, it's just a sidebar. I <laughs> failed my science tax test seven times, and I failed my math tax test nine times, or vice versa, and I almost yeah. gave up too. That oh, shit. Yeah. Do they still have that? State test? Star, yeah. They step star? Okay. I um, am with you because I was this close to being like, fuck this. Like, yeah, you yeah. know, you work hard all these years. Oh, and, yeah. But then I was like, okay, well, my brother's already a fuck up and I don't want to be a fuck up with him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because then my parents are going to have two fuck up kids. Can you imagine that? Like, one's yeah. okay, but like two, it's like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't want to be the disappointment. So I kept going for it. What? You, 
do you ever want to go back? Did you get your GED or anything? No, or? I I tried. Yeah. You know, okay. I tried to go to like the uh, classes. classes. Yeah, yeah. But man, I was like, no, nah, I guess I won't. You know. Do I you just, think long term that might prove negatively or? I don't think so. Okay. Not not to me. Yeah. Uh, because I mean I mean we are business owners. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you're right. You don't, yeah, you don't need a college. Mm-hmm. Me, man, it might sound bad, but <laughs> no, no. But I know. want you to be on the yeah. note because this is great. Like, I like we always talk about gra- like gra- you're not going to college, right? I always felt like high school was one of those necessity things. Yeah. So, yeah. but like, so for you, obviously, but, it's working out great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. I had uh, okay. I was a manager at a pawn shop recently, right? Right. With no college education, or right? No, you know, not graduating high school. Yeah. Um, what did I do after that? Oh, I was a service <laughs> rider at. Uh, if you would have went to high school, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was a service rider at Toyota. Oh, okay. With no high school, at, you know, graduate or right, right. No diploma or no college. You know, and I was terrible, doing that. By the way. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, it was it was I, actually pretty good. I, I mean. did that too. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, anyway, yeah. but uh, but yeah. yeah, I was out. Me, I would always say you don't need a college education to do what you okay. want to do, you know. I mean, facts. Do you think yeah. that you, as somebody who, who did graduate high school and went to college and became a teacher, do, do you think you get, like, judged a lot for being with somebody who didn't follow suit? or No. Because people just be judgy. I'm not judging. Yeah. I, I, listen, you guys made a whole business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so fuck that. But, yeah. you know, yeah. everything's about this now. I um, just think some people use it as an excuse, like, okay. oh, I don't have my... I didn't graduate high school, so right. I'm gonna be stuck. At oh, this. just be like a bum. Like, yeah, yeah, like okay. at this minimum paying job, mm-hmm. and like not try to be better. Okay, you know. Do you think? Did you have reservations in the beginning? I guess talking to him because, like, surely you were like going to college, mm-hmm. and you know you were studying, and he was just kind of like with the boys, probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Like, did you have any reservations in the beginning, especially since your first relationship had failed? No, because mm-hmm. he, I could tell that he was a hard worker. Okay, and so he, if he was at home doing nothing, like I couldn't. I no, couldn't. yeah, because yeah. now these days girls just condition themselves to be dropped off at work by their boyfriend nah, <laughs> in no. their car. Yeah. And it's like what the hell, bitch? Like, you know what? What? Yeah, yeah. So, but no. that wasn't the case no. here. Okay, no, but, no, no. You know what? I did you? I mean, did you ever feel like you need to go back and kind of like? Do you want to go back? I mean, like, do you think your kids might be like, hey, dad? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? They've asked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but no, I don't think so. No, okay. You know? Yeah. I but you obviously know. want your kids to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. I, I want them to do what makes, know, them what makes them happy. What makes them yeah. happy. Okay. Yeah. And so you're doing what makes you happy. You see he's doing what makes you happy. You're doing what makes you Everybody's happy. So we're yeah, good at the end of the day. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, I've never, like, had that conversation with somebody because I always wondered what it would be like if you just didn't graduate high school. I didn't know if there were any job opportunities that would be yeah. afforded yeah. to unless you had to yeah. create something for yourself. See, and oh, I well. always thought, if I don't graduate, oh, my gosh, like, yeah. I'm not going to have a job. That's what I'm job. saying. I didn't like, want to be at home with my fucking parents. Like, I had left when I was 18. I was like, as soon as I graduated, I'm out of here. How I look at it is if you get hired on on that job yeah. or on a job, right? You like well at Toyota, I started off washing cars. Okay. I was a porter. I wash cars after they get done with the with the cars in right. the body shop. Um and then I went from uh paint prepping. Yeah. Um and then I drove their shuttle for them for about a year. Okay. And then I stepped into the service service riding role. And like I said, I worked my way up every single <laughs> I've done time. that job, I'm just saying. Yeah. At Toyota? Not at Toyota. Oh, okay. At a different place. I'll tell you yeah. later. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love them. I love them. I just you just don't want to get wouldn't beat up. get. No. no, I just don't want to do that job again. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I mean, it is tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is it's tough, tough because people go in there. They're already mad because their car's messed up. Just so you do have it, to. People be doing the fucking most, and I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. like just the way. That, anyway, yeah. <laughs> Let's get back to the episode. Yeah. So, yeah. so, um, so you are a teacher, okay? And yes. What do you teach? First grade. First grade. First okay. grade math. How long have you been a teacher? This is my sixth year. Sixth year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, I guess was your dream always just to become a teacher? You know what? And this is kind of like the prequel because I've been wanting some teachers on this show. Yeah. Okay, and I didn't want to make this like a teacher episode because it wouldn't be like that doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, no, because we're talking about no. this. But you know, like I, I've been wanting some teachers on the show because I haven't had any teachers, uh, and so I, I kind of want to know like what you, you know. We've seen teachers oh, and yeah. we hate teachers, <laughs> and then you know what I mean. Like yeah. in high school, and you're like, fuck yeah, that teacher. Yeah. And then teachers, teachers, teachers. And so when when you become a teacher, what's it like behind the scenes, I guess, being a teacher? I mean, well, for me, I'm uh-huh. with little kids. So <laughs> I, like, vent a lot, like, man. Like, yeah. What yeah. I have to go through on a daily basis. But, I mean, Those first like, two I years love was, it. The stories were, man. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Was it the kids or the parents? 
Because so the parents be doing the most these days, from what I hear. Well, see, where I'm at now, like, I don't And you don't have to say where you're at because we don't want to get you in trouble. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. But, like, I used to work at another district. <laughs> okay. And and it was it was tough over there. Like, parents-wise? I kind of want to try to beat up some of them parents. <laughs> really? Parents no, because like, that's what they do, right? And I feel like that's what's wrong. Like, maybe you can attest to this. And when I have the teachers on this show, we're going to talk more about it. But, like, I feel like parents condition their kids so much these days in 2021 to not have to be accountable for any of their actions yeah, yeah. so when something goes wrong or you fail a test or you do something it's got to be your fault like yeah. it can't be their fault but they can't they kids can't be lazy why what is your thoughts on that it's always like oh my kid's an angel I'm like, <laughs> are they <though>? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah um, but i mean like i haven't had a lot of experiences with parents okay. um like bad i guess like yeah. a few, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I mean, sometimes it's just the kids themselves. Yeah, like, yeah. And then not being taught how to be respectful, how okay. to be. But have you had to deal with that child that is disrespectful and then it's not their fault, it's your fault? Yeah. Okay, got you. How do yeah. you deal with that mentally? How do you go home to your husband who owns a business and says, I can't I, do this I, shit? I, well, I mean, this is before, too, yeah. at the other oh, okay. district. So, I mean, I remember just always coming and, like, venting, like, okay. oh, my, can you believe this happened? Like, I can't, but. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, who is that? Who, yeah. Who is that? <laughs> you know what? Like, I guess, so, were you, um, <clears throat> excuse me, were you with Anna when she was going to college? Yes. Okay, yeah. so I guess seeing her go to college and study, did that ever kind of put, like, a fire in your ass and say, I better get back in school? Like, do you ever, did you ever feel like you had to be up to par? Like, no. did you feel like you were being judged because you were doing that and you weren't? No. 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 I, I, I mean, me, me, it really don't bother me. Okay. Bother me a whole lot if somebody has a college education versus me having no college education. Yeah. It really doesn't bother me. Oh, okay. Know. And I don't think yeah. I ever made it a big deal either. No, that's like, good. he was always supportive of. Because I wasn't even going to school to be a teacher. Right. Yeah. Gotcha. What were I you was, doing? I was getting my bachelor's in business. I got my bachelor's in business. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, <laughs> but I always did want to be a teacher. Yeah, yeah. So then I went back and like did and the whole teacher, teacher thing. You know, and, but you know what? Like, are, have the credentials changed? Like, we were just talking. Okay. Before, I felt like you couldn't get no job without a high school diploma. Mm -hmm. Right? And I feel like since nobody wants to work now, they're letting anybody do anything. Right? Is that right? No. It, yeah. No, I'm being yeah, dead serious. No, yeah. So like, And even, get paid really good. Okay. Like, yeah. What? And so, but I'll tell you what. Um, and this is just a little like advice and I told this to everybody at my last job um, you never especially if you're experienced settle for the standard pay right? yeah. always yeah. negotiate your wages all the time yeah. okay yeah. period but I'd like Anyway, <laughs> so, like, even the credentials to being a teacher, though, hasn't has it changed a little bit from what I understand? Like you don't necessarily have to go to college for the most part. So like if you have a bachelor's degree, like I had a bachelor's degree, okay. but it wasn't an education. Then as long as you have a bachelor's degree, then you can go into like the um, alternative certification process, yeah, which is like work? two years. So like you have to go to college again, but it's not <laughs> the whole four years in education. Okay, It's like two years and then. Why did why did they do something like that? Do you think that cheats somebody like you from who did that for? for I think they did it because there's a short. There's always been a shortage, a shortage of okay. teachers. Yeah, because yeah. we don't get paid a lot. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say yeah. that too. Like as a teacher being underpaid, like why is that the case? Do you think that's what's wrong know. with our educational system and why kids? Yeah. Like, do you think teachers just <laughs> stop giving a fuck? Like it's like you know what? If I'm not gonna get paid to do the extra mile, like, like what is your yeah, thoughts I, on that? Like, I, just, you know? <laughs> I think I mean if. Like, if it's in your heart to be a teacher, okay. you're going to be a teacher no matter the pay because you don't go in it for the money, okay. you know? And you have to really have a heart to be a teacher. Right. Um, but, yeah, it sucks because <laughs> we feel like, you know, we're teaching them these things. Okay. And how to read, how to do math, yeah. how to... Just for peace of mind, and I don't want you discussing your wages <laughs> <laughs> on this show because it's nobody's business, but are you making more than 35 a year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is yeah. it less than 40? Okay. Yeah. So it's not that so bad. It's not, it's not that, that bad. bad. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, no, to some people, I mean, like, that's not a lot of money. Yeah. But especially But it's like compared yeah. to other professionals that have gone to a, uh, gotten a four year degree mm -hmm. and they get paid like almost 100 grand and we're like, damn. Well, damn. But like, yeah. we're, we're teaching the future of the world. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. I got you. You yeah. know, like, <laughs> could you really be a doctor without okay. going do to school with a teacher? You know? Do you eventually want to give up teaching to help? Julian, no, what band? Okay, yeah. so yeah, you, we are. We yeah, had already yeah. talked about that. Like, <laughs> what was that conversation? Because did you want her to do that? Like, or no, not okay. really. I mean, she just stepped in. You know, started pretty much schedule schedule okay. stuff. You know, 
But yeah, no, she 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 won't quit. You know, I got you. Teaching. Yeah, yeah. Like we, I wouldn't want her to. You know, quit right? Because she's teaching other kids. You know. Okay. Because so. he always knew like that's what I like to do. Mm-hmm. That's my. But I will always support you. Yeah, and, yeah. Like your thing and help you out. But no, my thing is being in a school teaching. Yeah. And, yeah. You're not gonna take that I, from me. <laughs> no, and I think that's great too. I think that a lot of couples, I, I kind of think that's a mistake in a relationship. You know, like I did have the Vias on here, and um, Rochelle Via, as much as she disagreed with Jose Via and his business <laughs> adventures, she still like stuck by him and was like, "I'm gonna yeah. ride with you, even though I don't want you to do this, but yeah. I'm still gonna do it." But I'm also gonna be working myself, and then so yeah. I guess in your situation, um, I would think that you guys have more traditional values because you're both Mexican, and so <laughs> so I could see your families being like, "No, you gotta take care of your husband, or she's gotta take care of you." Like. I could just see a lot of people in your lives, like, I could see a lot of the outside people kind of like, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Trying yeah. to Well, I mean, it. like, I, I don't think for me because I've always been independent. Okay. My mom and my, like, my family knows since I was 16, I was working, right, right. paying my own stuff. I don't like depending on anybody. Yeah. And I can see you guys being an easy target to be judged. Does that, does that sit well? I don't judge you. Really? I love y'all. No, just because of the situation. Do you know what I mean? I, like, people be wanting to talk. Like, people always got something to fucking say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, can, they can say it, but yeah, it, it, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Like, I think I'm one that, like, okay, yeah. say what you want. It like. is what it is, right? Yeah. And, you, and you've been through it, so you're like, fuck yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually a good deal. Would you say that um, in building your own business and then you working, would you guys say that ever took a toll in your relationship together? I don't think so. I don't no. think so. Don't think like you so had a problem. Like, I'm working more than you. No, fuck you, bitch. I'm trying. No, you know what I mean? No, like, no. no. Yeah. I mean, I would feel bad sometimes uh-huh. because he was working nine to seven every day okay. and doing this hauling on the side, mm. and he wouldn't eat sometimes. Yeah. And I'm like, Ugh. Well, I, have to I eat. wouldn't. Man. You need your protein. I, oh, I'm, no, I probably almost passed out a few times, man. Yeah. 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 Doing what I'm doing. You know what? Just kind of sidebar too. I was so busy. What? A, ooh, when I recorded with April Nunn. And <laughs> that whole day, I only had oatmeal in the morning and I didn't eat the whole day because I yeah. spent the whole entire, I recorded, I did a radio remote, everything. And so I remember telling my friend I haven't eaten shit. He's like, you can't do that to yourself. Yeah. You know, just yeah. don't ever do that to yourself. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I learned my lesson. Okay. Now, now I've run around with the ice chest with water or Gatorade yeah. or soda or something right. back there. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to, you, and especially get your protein. Um, you know what? I, and just so I'm really happy to hear that you guys are able to kind of make this work. And Banda's hauling service seems like it's good, it's on the road to success. Have you had to deal with any adversity so far with that, or do you think everything's kind of set in stone? Like, did you do you think you made the right decision? I think I, I think we made the right decision. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, he did. Because <laughs> yeah. man, when I'm at work, you know, uh-huh. uh, at the pawn shop, I I would get calls like three or four. People needing the car to be picked up. Yeah, man, I'm at work. Right, you know, right. I can't do it. You mm-hmm. know, you or, or I have to schedule you after seven whenever I get off. So. Okay, and that that's when I get home about nine, ten o'clock at night. So if I need my car towed, you can come pick me up. Yes. Okay. Yeah. See, yeah. I, I and you did say that earlier. I don't know why I only heard you pick up trash. Yeah. So okay. Uh, so you kind of double as a towing service. That's yeah. what it, you're hauling shit. Okay, yeah. I got you. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't. Yeah. I don't have trees that I cut down. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. Surely my dad might need that service sometime. Oh, yeah. oh, but we run out the dump us. trailers too, so like yeah. a lot of roofers okay. call them. Yeah, or like construction workers that need mm-hmm. right. their property cleaned up. If if they do like one room mm-hmm. that's just one one room to demo, we'll go set it out there and they'll throw it in there. Has there been a slow season for you yet? Uh this this month probably was the, the slowest. Okay. Yeah. Have you prepared? Like, I mean, when you make a decision to make something like this full time, do you mentally prepare? I had the Sanchez's on here and he talked about that. Yeah. Like, do you mentally prepare for a time like that? Or it's like, okay, like in these couple months, we ain't gonna be doing shit. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. So we already, we talked a little bit. I'm like, maybe the winter months um, okay. in February, I think is the, the slowest. Yeah, the slowest Whenever part. we had all that crazy weather. Well, and that's, yeah. that's, <laughs> that was a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was government, man. I think it was government. <laughs> you, think, you think they yeah. made the snowstorm? Oh, yeah. uh, the, please don't have me abducted by aliens. Please, so, okay, I don't have time but, but, to be abducted by the government yeah. talking about take your showdown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 But, but, uh, but no, yeah, that, at that time, I didn't have a truck. I, I had a cousin a, that did a lot of pills. Really? <laughs> and he used to scare the shit out of me with comments really? like that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, You're I, one of those conspiracy theorists. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I, I know about, you know, the government making like clouds or whatever. <laughs> You know, I've, I've read it I'm somewhere. Tell stop getting on the internet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> stop this. You know, it's just real funny because you said that. It just made me, uh, okay, I went to New York, and I love my cousin Leo. But um, I went to New York, 
what, 10 years ago, okay? And there was a big thunderstorm, but the thunderstorm was on this side, but not on this side, and uh -huh. it was loud. And so he woke me up at like two in the morning and was like, Andrew, come out here now, now. And he was, hi. And so, <laughs> like, hi. And so I was like, what, what? And I was fat, so I was like, you know, sweating real hard. And so um, he's like, why is there a thunderstorm on that side, but there's not a thunderstorm on this side? And I was like, I don't know. He was like, it's the fucking government, it's the president, it's the president, Andrew. Oh I was gosh. scared the rest of the trip. I, was, I couldn't even enjoy New York anymore. I was like, fuck that okay oh my and then my family said that he you know thought he was getting abducted uh, and shit too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay but yeah no that that's no so okay so no, you keep thinking yeah probably winter because at at that time this past winter mm -hmm. i didn't have a truck that was full of drives okay so i couldn't really go out and you know help them right you know i may get stuck myself mm -hmm. you know so that's when we you know we got a truck now okay. that we can you know go out and you know you know, right, because it's four wheel drive. Do you have people that work for you, or is it just you right now? Right now, it's just it's just me, really. Okay. Uh, my wife goes out there; she helps out sometimes. Uh, you uh, be picking shit up? I do. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, I try that one. Uh, we, we have the kids out there every now and then. Too. Okay, yeah. yeah. Have you ever right. had to pick up tree branches? Yes. That shit is terrible uh, without gloves. I'm like, oh, no, man. yeah, we buy gloves. We buy gloves. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. I learned my lesson because my hands afterwards without gloves, man, the you hands calluses are, yeah. and they're dirty. Yeah, and, and, then, and then they'll hurt. I can't yeah. stand some dirty ass fingernails. Like I was trying to sleep with somebody the other day, and they sent me a picture, and they had dirty fingernails. And I was yeah. like, yeah, we're not. They, <laughs> they sent you a picture of their fingernails. They sent me a picture of something else. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that showed their fingernails. Uh, I, and I typically don't like those types of pictures either because uh, I'm like, I can't do nothing with that. But uh, yeah, I was just like, oh, he probably hauls stuff. Okay. So. Uh, 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 we do that. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> Keep them dirty, then, uh, <laughs> I'm not trying uh, to. No. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, okay, you know what? Uh, I, I think it's so great. I, I'm really excited to see the future of Boundless And of course, if I need anything, you know, uh -huh. and, you know, if you ever want to do, you know, Promotions, let me know. Yeah. But anyway, okay. yeah. So um, just real quick before we wrap up, I just want to touch a little bit on the relationship because I have a couple on the show. So naturally, we want to talk a little bit about relationships. I noticed that you guys have one Facebook. Um, it's joint. Uh, yeah. a, a lot of people like judge people like that. How do you, yes. how do you, yeah. How do you feel about, I can't have a joint Facebook. I'm sorry. But like, <laughs> but. So like, I, I know that was me. That was my idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think that like there was trust issues involved when making that decision or did you just think it was cute? No. Or? No, well, there was trust trust issues right. because of Facebook from the previous relationship okay. that I was scared of right, right. to happen again. Mm -hmm. And so I would tell him like, oh, like, I don't, I don't want to be like that. Like, I don't want to have trust issues. Right. And then he's like, well, let's just make one together. Yeah. Okay. Once we I, moved I'm, in, we had yeah. moved uh, in. So you were okay. You didn't even oh, have yeah. your own Facebook at the time. No, I did. Yeah. Oh, you did? did? Okay. Yeah, but, you know, it was like. She felt that way, so like, oh. Yeah. So we wouldn't have any issues. Yeah, yeah okay, I got like, you. Oh, like, Do you think that now, because it's been eight years, or how long did you say you guys were together? Six years? Uh, how long? Eight years. Been eight? married six years. Okay. No, eight. five. We've been married five, oh, five years. years. Oh shit! Oh. But we've been together. <laughs> Eight years. Hey, okay. Yeah. Do you yeah. think with it going this long, do you think that you'd be more comfortable making a separate, or is it just there? It's already. It's kind of just there. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's no. what everybody knows us as, you know. Yeah. Because I always, yeah. I always want to call you Juliana, and yeah. I just. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hey, I like, want to. If we had a girl, I told her, I'm like, we should name her Juliana. Juliana, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't work. What's the boy's yeah. name? Julian, because yeah. Ju he's a oh, junior. Because you're Julian. Okay. Yeah. yeah so the first boy had had to be a junior. Okay, got you. But now it's your only child, so it's like. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have two well, kids, excuse me, but, you know. Yeah. But no, no, yeah, my first boy, it had to be right. named after me. I got you. What was what was the secret to you guys? It sounds like you guys have a really healthy, happy relationship amongst the shit. You, I mean, you've been through. I can only imagine because <laughs> I was kind of there, but not really. And, so, yeah. and then I just met you, like, what, months ago. Yeah. And so um, what is the secret to you guys having, like, a, I mean, surely you guys have disagreements yeah, and yeah. Oh, yeah. stuff like that. Okay. But what's the secret to you guys staying in an eight-year marriage? That's that's rare these days. You I know guess, what I mean? like, not putting your business out there. Okay. Yeah. And, Which like, do, yeah. handling yeah. it between us if we have an issue. Okay. Don't you love those couples yeah. that sometimes they do? That? I know, well, I, I do mean, like Julia right now. It's just like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, where's the drama? Yeah. Yeah. This is a perfect opportunity yeah. for me to shout out uh, my good friend, Victor Benitez, who gave me this really huge yeah. Galaxy Tab A just because he wanted to. And um, yeah. now I get to see all the tea just yeah. like a big yeah. ass tablet. I'm like, yeah. this is great. Yeah, but yeah. No, okay, so I mean, you guys typically don't like to entertain things like that. And like I said, it would seem to me from the outside looking in that a lot of people might judge you, especially like 
your lifestyle and then your lifestyle and it's like how the fuck do they get together you know but yeah. people yeah. always have a way to talk and you guys just seem like you're good at just brushing it oh, all off and oh, i really yeah. enjoy yeah. that I, I don't man I, I really don't let a lot, a lot of things get to me yeah, yeah. You, he doesn't yeah. look it's confrontational bad. to me I, I, yeah, yeah, I, 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 he looks like I a charmer yeah, yeah, okay. i can be if yeah. i he have to, be. But, have to. Man, yeah if i don't have to i'll no, no, I'm. I won't. Yeah. yeah, that's what somebody it's, threatened actually the other day to uh, kick the shit out of me, and I was like, I don't fight. Like that's not even fair. Yeah. <laughs> like they said to my face, I was like, I don't fight. You're gonna win. You can't brag about it. It's not worth it. Just, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I always uh, say that. I don't know why yeah. people want to fuck me. Okay. You know, I'm really happy that you guys really came on the show. I was so excited to do this episode. I'm, you guys just look so great. I've got Thanks. nothing but high hopes for you in the future. What's next Thanks. for? I mean, I guess pandas individually. Is there any individual goals that you guys still need to set out on, or what's up? Uh, man, the, the what we want, what we were looking for is mm-hmm. adding more trailers. Oh, okay. You know, that's just one making of it our grow. Goals. Just, yeah. Yeah, th- yeah. That way we have more stuff out, you know, be more available to to people and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. That'd for be- me, is I hope to be one day teacher of the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what's the highest level of achievement for you as a teacher? I mean, is it like when you grow, like, so you're doing first grade right now, but if you teach like high school, is that like a promotion or is that the same shit? No, like you get to pick what you want to. Oh, okay. Teach, yeah. Okay. No, I can't do high school. You no, can't do high- no, no. <laughs> yeah, no. I can't do middle school either. No. <laughs> so you're just good with the kids. Yeah, I'm okay. good with the little. Yeah. 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 So you to be teacher of the year and for bandas to, I guess, take off. Uh, yeah, I want to be su- successful. Yeah. Okay. To make yeah. it successful. That's yeah. good. Yeah. And so, and just so you, and so you don't find any, um, like you're gonna reach any obstacles. I mean, have you had the talk with your son about you not graduating high school or? I mean, he's he, he's little, right? They, like, yeah, they know. Oh, they know. They know. Oh, yeah. yeah. They know. But we, but they also know. Like, we push wanting them to go to college. Right. For sure. Like, okay. I mean, if they, if they don't want to go to college, yeah, eh, they don't have to. But, but they're you gotta gonna, be doing they're something. Gonna, yeah, they're gonna work though. Yeah, you can't you know. just be living here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. Your fucking underwear's all day. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Nah, yeah. okay. Well, I'm so happy that you guys came on the show. I'm really grateful to have finally sat down and like had a conversation. Yeah. yeah. Really, Appreciate we, it. This has been long ago. Just really busy. But yeah. Except now. Hopefully not. But yeah. Um. Best of luck to you guys. Abandon this hauling service. Best. Best of luck to you with your teaching. Thank you. Thank you. You know. Again, you served as a kind of a prequel to me for when I do have some teachers on here, and I'm really excited because yeah. so, I've got lots more questions. I just don't want to get yeah. to each other. So I have to have I have to find teachers that are like I don't get to tech. Like, yeah. probably like some coaches. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys again so much for being a part of this episode of the Public Affair. I only have high hopes for you, and if there's anything that you need from me to help you um, grow your business, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Okay? Uh, thank you. I, I I, I'm not Beyonce, but we'll see yeah. what we can do. <laughs> uh, uh, thank it. you guys appreciate again for watching this episode of the Public Affair. Before we go, I definitely want to give a shout out to a couple more of our sponsors of this show. Of course, the Soko Soccer Academy with Dominic Gutierrez and Ariana Gutierrez and London and Isaac Carrillo. They're located on Franklin Drive. They offer team, small group, and individual skill training. They also have open play on Friday nights and specialize in soccer training and fitness training. And they're the reason why I can fit into smaller clothes and shopping clearance. And I love it. I love my whole new body and I look like a snack and I get more pictures like I talked to you about earlier because of my weight loss. So thank you, Soko Soccer Academy, for sponsoring this episode. Of course, the fat boy Micheladas and Botana with my boy Junior Banda, who provides the best Micheladas and Botana plates for yourself or for a party. They're locally operated, so make sure you get the best and not the rest, darling. I love me some Junior Banda, and I love those Botana trays. I should order one, like, right now. Yeah. Uh, I've been dying for them. They're so yeah. good, yes. We have tried one. Yeah, no, no, you have to, one. for real. You guys aren't, they're not cousins, just to clarify, yeah. But, yeah, 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 yeah. but it's really good. And you know what? They have a different menu, they have a menu now of an array of different items, like they have Botana bowls now, you know, it's a little bit carbless, but and, and I love it. So shout out to Junior Banda with Fat Boy Michelin and Botana. Thank you for being a longtime sponsor of The Public Affair. To everybody who watched this episode, thank you guys again so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this episode i love you all so much on the road to 2000 subscribers what's up and don't forget darling to always keep it between us (laughs) that's it this has been a rogue media podcast Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.